Hello, this is Sandman99. And I'm Rick V5. And we are back with G9-13. Go on. Indeed. And tell Piper teleporting in out of nowhere. Anyway, uh, we just finished breaking up a dog fighting ring. And as you can see, there are a whole bunch of dogs following us now. Not sure where Lily is. She must be around here somewhere, so hopefully we can uh, just <laughs> go out the door and everything will go the way it should. Yeah, because things didn't proceed in this quest the way they normally do. Yeah, well, we had a little glitch. I'm not What's sure why. On? Anyway, I'm going to pause briefly while we go out the door. All right. Well, that loading screen was exceptionally quick. That was yep. like 15 seconds. I am very surprised. <laughs> because usually it's a couple of minutes or more. Yeah. So now, gotta have something to eat. Uh, needs. Well, we could eat some gumdrops. There we go. We're properly fed after eating a couple of gumdrops. Yeah, it's, you know, it's a balanced meal. Yep. So now, we have to lead all of these dogs all the way back to the Adam Cat's Red Rocket. Alrighty. So we're going to try and do that. Why, did they have a tendency to get stuck on things? Actually, uh, the last time that I played through this, everything went fine. The dogs all kind of follow along, and Lily follows along. And uh, hopefully Piper will follow along too. Boy, is it ever dark out though. It's the middle of the night. Yeah, vampires could be around the corner. Well, not only that, but we appear to have some sort of gun battle going on up here. Between Raider Scum and, uh... Minutemen, by the looks of it. The previous Minutemen that were already there the last time we came around yeah. here? Probably. Well, I think the Minutemen got it handled. Yeah, it looks like the Minutemen came out on top in this one. We'll just pick up a little bit of ammunition here on the way by. that too. Okay. See, that was the raider's problem. He was shooting at the Minuteman from like 90 feet away with a short barrel, double barrel shotgun. Yeah, and the uh, dead super mutants are still there, so. Anyway, we're going the wrong direction. Let's try and go the right direction here. Oh my. That is a super mutant hound. And it's coming this way. Or it will. Wow. Gotta wow. switch weapons now. Yeah, I can't, uh, I can't shoot explosive rounds in case I hurt the dogs. Whoa, look at that thing go. <laughs> it's got skates. You never cease to impress, do ya? Oh, well. There. Slide, okay. slide, slide. Yeah. What's going on up here now? We got ghouls all over the place here again, too. Whoop. On that one. Huh. Well, it looks like the dogs took them out. Yep. My gun's empty. I have to reload now. So it looks like it's going to be an eventful trip back to the Red Rocket. As opposed to a nice, relaxed, everything is fine trip. Yeah, well, pardon Ooh, me while I grab ammunition here. And cigarettes. And cigarettes. <laughs> oh, look at there. More ghouls. Okay. Shotgun seems to work pretty well on ghouls. Yep. All right. Everybody still following along? Or is there something still going on back here? Doggo, doggo, power armor. Doggo. And there's Piper. Piper. Okay, well, I guess we'll just assume everybody's following along then, and we'll continue. 
Oh, I just heard a dog yip. Is there one stuck back there? Oh, there's a raider now. And not anymore. He, he was a raider. Yeah, and he I took used to be a raider till I took a load of buckshot in the chest. <laughs> now I'm a corpse. She's just trying to be a role model. Yeah. I might as well just run down the street with the gun out because it seems like I've had to use it often enough here in the last two or three minutes. Uh oh. What the? Oh. Wow, so many dog bodies in there that uh, I'm not sure I want to try and fire a shot into that crowd. It's fine. The dog's got it handled. You yeah. seem to have a lot more dogs than I seem to remember. Well, I think there was about eight. Right? Ah. Uh. Oh, looks like Piper needs to be stim packed again. There's something though. you need? Funny, she isn't using that shotgun that I gave her a while ago, eh? Maybe she just doesn't have any skill in it. Oh, look at that dog's rolling in the vampire's ashes. <laughs> uh. Okay. Well, Piper doesn't seem to like the shotgun, so. But that's okay, she can carry the extra shells for me until I need them. The shotgun shells are heavy. They're actually one of the heaviest ammunitions, short, uh, of, short of, uh, you know, like missiles or mini nuke things, right? Yeah, yeah. Like they're they're the heaviest uh, per unit. Yeah. Yeah, I suspect if she's not equipping and firing the shotgun, she must just not be good with that particular type of weapon. Yeah, I didn't know if uh, NPCs like that would have specialties, but. Obviously, Piper seems to favor pistols. I don't know, maybe you could tell her if you were to like go into her equip menu, you could tell her to forcibly equip the shotgun. No, actually you can't. No? No. If I had a, a follower mod, maybe I could do that, but... Uh, Alas, no follower mods on I this one? Yeah, I'm not running a follower mod here, so basically I have one follower at a time. Now it's time to have a drink of water. Starting to run a little low on water. Yeah, you're going to have to make a dedicated off-screen <clears throat> effort to get some uh, water. Yeah, well, once we complete this job, we're going to have to do some things off-screen anyways. Because there's going to be a certain amount of uh, uh, maintenance-type things that are going to have to be done. You know, building settlements and that kind of stuff. P things that people don't necessarily find to be interesting viewing. Ah, uh, because building settlements is really interesting to me, settlement? but not Coming? necessarily uh, nice. to anyone that might be watching these videos. Everybody's still following along. That's good. And actually, if I remember right, they actually did a pretty good job of tracking even to come down these makeshift stairs and stuff here, eh? Ah. Uh. Yeah. Yeah, you didn't even find your way down the stairs I can I can hardly even find my way down <laughs> the stairs, yeah. Any of these respawn? Oh, look at that. Some of these ammo boxes respawned. That means the raiders must be coming back soon sometime, maybe? Well, they do respawn from time to time. So you do have to come back and uh, kill them all off again. Ooh, something just blew up. Yeah, there's some kind of gun battle going on over there again. As per usual. As per usual, because there's an encounter hotspot up there. It's, uh, what is it called? The... The D, it starts with a D. It's like uh, some kind of office tower or something. Ruined office tower. Well, that's okay, because you can come and pick up your grenades again. Yeah. <laughs> I can pick up my grenades again. I can pickpocket these dogs. 
They probably wouldn't have anything on them, though. Yeah, they'd probably attack you if you pickpocketed them. Because they know what pickpocketing is. Yeah, and they wouldn't like it if I tried to take their caps. <laughs> Get a bounty on your head for pickpocketing a dog in the middle of nowhere? Yeah. Okay, well, back into this area again. Now you pickpocket the dog and Diamond City Guard shows up out of nowhere. Yeah. You're stop, like in Quincy. Stop criminal <laughs> Yeah. Wow, I can see the light from that one uh, uh, robot over there. You see him? Yeah, he's still there. Yeah, he's still there. And you're still ignoring him. Well, I think our, we're going to try and avoid him. Because there's just too many. Aha, we found out how they cheat the pathfinding. Yeah, they teleport. <laughs> See, that was why uh, you always had stuff like, uh, you know, follower. You'd be climbing a set of stairs. Like, uh... What? I think, uh... Uh-oh. I think we attracted somebody's attention. Gunners. Alright. i shoot you in the head. How about that? How do you like that, hey? Attack my dogs. Mm. It's pretty dark out. I don't know how this is going to look when we go to do the playback on this. Ah, well. It's nighttime. Yeah. Darker nights, nighttime is dark. Yeah, we actually did a lot of tinkering with the recording settings for viewers who are interested, trying to get dark areas in particular to look better on tape. But of course, uh, when we upload this stuff, even though the raw recordings look fine, YouTube kind of has a tendency to crush it all to hell and back anyways. I guess it's fine, but... Uh, like, our local recordings don't look like how they are when they're uploaded. They look fine. Yeah. I don't think I've actually watched any of the uploaded recordings. So I don't know how they actually look. I should, though, one of these days, I suppose. Well, I suppose once you get enough viewers, I mean, uh... I think YouTube has two separate uh, recording formats. They've got like the default one that they have, and then they have like a uh, the higher quality uh, video format that they use. If you either upload in 2K or if you like uh, get a lot of viewers on something. Oh. And uh, so yeah. I see. So if they if they decide that you're worth their time, then you get a better quality. Yep. <laughs> Pretty much. Uh huh. All right, well, we're almost there. And uh, like, I see at least a few dogs there. So they do a better job of following than some followers do. Hmm. That's because they can uh, teleport better. Yeah, it's amazing the level of skill some of these modders have. Like... I've tried my hand at making mods myself, and you and I have tried our hands at making a few as well, here and there. And what that did is it really opened my eyes to just how good some of these guys, like Neher and his guns, you know, like the Select Revolver and the Select Shotgun and the and uh, you know, Monkey Spunk and his, his Quest mods and some of these other guys, like, they're amazing. Yeah. They have a, a level of skill that's far beyond anything that, that uh, we possess anyway, that's for sure. Hey, 
Dave? Oh, guess look at that. She just dropped in, I guess. Hey, Lily. Oh, it's really like, it's like uh, Old look Rim out there, where, yeah. where it rains right, best chickens and wolves. Yep. And, uh, everybody's falling out of the sky. Yeah, yeah everybody, everybody's falling out of the sky. I actually saw a chicken fall out of the sky and bounce the other day. Oh, really? Yeah. It fell out of the sky, and just as I turned around, I saw it dropping out of the sky, and it landed and bounced and cartwheeled end over end several times. God. Can you dig it? Aw, you're a saint, hun. That's why I brought him back here. That and we can't have him shitting all over the bleaches. I'll admit, I probably wouldn't have made it back without my new friend here. Got pretty hairy down at the ring. Real tight quarters. I always enjoy a good fight. Well, if that's how yeah, it is, I enjoy getting shot to shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> new cats down for the cause. You guys gonna chill here for a sec before heading back out? It's been a hot minute since I've seen you, babe. Normally I would. You know that. But I gotta get that motorcycle at Mass Chem before anyone else can strip it. I know the scabber that Bob told about it. He's a grease ball with a big mouth to boot. Guarantee he sold that tip to a few other people already. But then, you know, I got another PA run to make for the sheriff when I'm done with that, so I'll be back in a couple of days. I'll even stay a few nights, okay? I got you. I'll be here doing what I do best. Watch your back out there. I'm gonna get going back to Diamond City, hose the blood off my power armor. Swing by there and I'll have your caps waiting. Okay. So I guess I have to meet Lily back at her room, but I'm gonna let her go. I'm gonna have a look in here. Because this... I've got this idea. Hear me out. A suit of power armor with a jetpack on the back. Don't well, anyone it's a far out here. idea, but... Yeah, it's actually not as far-fetched as you think. <laughs> but anyway, this is a settlement. And it's part of the Red Rocket settlements. Um... Oh, okay. Uh, I think I, I mentioned that some time ago when we first discovered Lexington. Possibly, pretty well, yeah. Pretty well every Red Rocket in the Commonwealth, in Far Harbor uh, as well. There's uh, three or something? four of them in Far Harbor that are all turned into settlements. And this one is one of the more complicated ones, bleeding. I'll Just bet you, because you uh, this is Adam it Cat also territory. happened to have these guys inhabiting it already. Cool name. Yep. Intimidating. Go back to Nowheresville where you belong. Oh, I know what this is. You want to join up with the cats, don't you? I think I just I stumbled into one like of those forced reading things. <laughs> and you don't look like you've ever used one. Oh, <laughs> you got me, Jack. You got me. All right, all right. Hey, you're one step closer to Coolsville. Now, let's put your skills to the test. My girl Rowdy should have something for you to get your bread hooks on. She also trades in power armor mods and frames. Get yourself hooked up while you're there, Jack. Okay. So eventually I have to talk to Rowdy. But I think what I'm going to do for now, since I've already activated this bench, is uh, just going to leave it. And I'm going to crash on the couch here until... M oh, it is morning. <laughs> well, you could crash for like two hours. <laughs> yeah, I know. Well, you know what? I'm going to end up being tired here right away anyways. So I might as well head back to Diamond City. Now that well, I have activated the uh, Adam Katz garage. And it looks like Lily has got a bit of a head start on me. And I'll see about trying to catch up to her. Alrighty. Oh, I know what I should have done. I'm going to go back. Sorry about that. <laughs> because uh, that guy behind the counter sells stuff. And I might be able to buy some ammunition for my wonderful uh, select revolver. Since I went and wildly shot all of it. Yes? Hi. I think of buying from the cats as a donation towards a more cool comedy. Rowdy has what like a say? thousand projects going on. She's got to have something sure. for you. Let's take a look. All right. He's got some 50 caliber ammunition for sale. Yeah, fair bit of it, actually. Well, a little bit, anyway. Uh, yeah, so you can see how heavy shotgun shells are. They're like 10 to a uh, arbitrary weight unit, right? Yep. 
whereas uh, most other uh, ammunition types are like a tiny fraction of a of a weight unit. Yep. Okay, here we go. Harden select revolver. And it's already reloaded. Mm -hmm. uh, you just handed it to him across the counter and he loaded it for you. Well, I guess so. I always liked the idea of revolvers. And that's why I wasn't exactly thrilled when I was first introduced to the uh, pipe revolver in vanilla Fallout 4. Because it's a very low damage weapon with a very slow fire rate. And it doesn't hold very many shots before you have to reload it. And it all just seemed rather pointless. And then the next revolver that you get isn't until you uh, actually get the 44 revolver. Uh, let's see here. We need something and we need to drink again too. We can eat one of those. And, uh, you know, I always thought that their treatment of revolvers in the game really wasn't very good. Mm -hmm. And so the very first mod that I ever made was to change the vanilla pipe revolver and the vanilla 44 revolver and the vanilla western revolver so that they would fire double action. Yep. And it was... Uh, a good start for me because it was actually a surprisingly simple thing to do. And uh, ever since then, I've had basically double action revolvers. I mean, I don't have the ability to do the animations and all that kind of stuff like guys like me or do. Yep. But at least from a practical point of view, you can point and pull the trigger and the thing will shoot as fast as you can pull the trigger. And rise as fast as you can pull the trigger, too. Yeah. But just the <laughs> same, though, even if you uh, take the recoil into account, um, you can still fire the guns much faster than you could as a single-action revolver, because that was painful. Yeah. Before. You know, it was like firing a bolt-action weapon, right? Like, you fire and then work the bolt and fire... Well, it was like you'd fire and then have to manually cock the hammer and then fire and then, you know... And I could see if the uh, if those guns did like a big massive amount of damage, but they didn't do enough damage per shot to really be competitive with, you know, like a, a faster firing gun, like my personal favorite, which is a combat rifle, right? Mm -hmm. Or combat shotgun. If I absolutely had to play this game through, and I think I think way back when I first got. Fallout 4, before I added any mods to it. I think my first playthrough, I uh, used a combat rifle for distance shooting, and I used a combat shotgun for short-range stuff. And that was all I carried. You know, like later on in the game. Yeah. Well, somebody's shooting it out with that robot, probably. Yep. And now yeah. it's turning this way. Yeah. Okay, well. Maybe it's time we got rid of that thing. Uh, did it go back? I think it went back. Did it go back? I don't know. We're still getting a caution marker here unless something else has noticed us. That appears to be... Oh, okay. Well, somebody, somebody blew something up over there. Okay. Well, I think that's the end of that robot. I think it ran into somebody that was well enough armed to take it out. Hmm. <laughs> that dangerous ass area. Yep. I'm just going to grab these uh, bottles because I'm going to need them.
Okay, so we got past that very hazardous area. And now you can go and pick up some uh, more grenades, right? Yeah. Actually, I should visit <laughs> Diamond City and uh, sell some grenades because, boy, do I ever have a lot of them. Now, all of a sudden. <laughs> Without fail. Yep, every time you come by here. Oh, my God. It's just God. like Bedford Station, right? Like Bedford Station on the way to Ten Pines Bluff. Every time you stop by there, all that uh, scrap and, and uh, stuff that you can salvage is all there, right? You could always hear gunfire coming from there. The Dunvegan building or something. I could be wrong there. I can't remember what the name of that building is now. But it is, uh, the, basically the ground level lobby is a encounter hotspot. There's always some kind of gun battle going on there between various factions. Ah. Uh. And so here we are, back at Diamond City, safe and sound. Yeah, you made it. I could actually probably see Arturo and get some more ammunition for this gun, too. I'll betcha. <clears throat> and so, we wait. Should have paused it, I guess. Could always do it now. Yeah, we'll do it now. And we'll be right back. And we're back anyways. Yeah. That actually didn't take all that long either, actually. No. Ah, so here yes. we are. Our newest we got... Why arrival. We got... I trust you're learning to fit in. Hi. Oh yeah, I'm great. As much as I love... Uh... Okay, well, I've got to figure out why we got two uh, things here. Of talking to the people, I'm a busy man. Got a reason for bothering? Why do we have two? Oh, is Lily not back yet? Did I beat her back? Me? Maybe, <laughs> I, maybe I got back before Lily did. The super salon can give oh, well. you the hairstyle. You cause trouble. There's gonna be trouble. Get it? Well, we'll go and uh, visit. Arturo here. Need some custom hardware? We See got if we can a kick this guy off this bench first. Modifications, scopes, clip sizes, barrels. Swatters, right here. Let's go. Hey, Bash is in how the about I you to my confidential informant? You know, I could sell some of this stuff, right? Thank you for meeting me here. Maybe I should do that. Hey, it's the new girl. Am I right? No. The new girl? Word kind of travels fast in Diamond City. What can I say? Name's Arturo Rodriguez. If you need protection, let's talk. I've got a few minutes to browse. Self-defense at its best. Yeah. Okay, well. Let's sell a whole whack of grenades hmm? to start off. You still have a whole whack. Yeah, I know. And he doesn't have enough money to buy anything else from me. And he doesn't have any 50 caliber rounds on in his stock either. Too bad. Oh well. Guess we'll go talk to Myrna. The hub of trade for all... Keep away from my stall. I don't know you. One statue of Diana impression coming up. Good. Good. Now, just to answer me one simple question. Are you human? Because I will not serve a synth. Human as the day I was born. Well, <laughs> you do look human well, enough. Not quite, I'll be but watching okay. You. I have <laughs> eyes like a... Well, they're good eyes. Got it? All right. We can do business, but no funny stuff. 
Let's see what you have. A bit of everything. Yeah, you don't have very much money either. But I could probably sell a whole whack of uh, more grenades, right? <laughs> <laughs> You're just ensuring uh, social cohesion. Yeah. That's what you can call it. Okay, well, I guess that'll do. If everybody has grenades, then nobody has grenades. That's right. A grenade arms society is a polite society? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, I'm going to drop a grenade on you if you be rude to me. <laughs> we'll both go down. I'll take you with me, damn it. I'm just buying some junk from her. Partly so that I can sell more of my stuff. And partly so that I can maybe uh, make some modifications to uh, some of the guns that I've got here. Mm. The, ones, the ones that I decide not to sell. Okay. Well, we can still sell one more grenade. What else can we sell here? You know what? Uh, let's sell that, because that's not really a very good... Oh, I, she doesn't have enough money to buy that. Wow, that's worth a lot of money. Okay, well, I guess we'll sell these. She doesn't have enough money to buy both of those either. Okay. Well. Where is that? Get off of that thing. Didn't I kick you off of here once already? <laughs> He's like, but I want to work on my gun. Yeah, well, screw off. I'm doing this. Um, you like that person at the gym who hogs all the weights. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I want to see if I've got some stuff now. Oh, look, there. See, I can go up to a powerful receiver now. And I don't have enough skill to make it any more than that, so that's the best that I can make. Don't it walk now. outside the wall undefended. High quality protection uh, for sale. And it's got a long barrel on it already, so I, it's got a full stock. Has a medium magazine. I can't put a drum mag on it right now, I guess. Hey, swatter, swatter, swatter can hit. Boom. I could put a 2.5 times combat scope on it, though. And I guess that's it. So let's see how this compares now to our select shotgun. It's actually a little more powerful now. So. I'm afraid it's it was a short-lived relationship with me and my select shotgun, but... Basically, I don't have a lot, a lot of modded weapons. Where is that thing now? There it is. Okay. I don't have a lot of modded weapons in my game, but... Basically, that means that the combat like shotgun that. is pretty much the... Top of the food chain as far as shotguns go. And that's sort of a deliberate choice on my part, too, because I used to run a lot of modded guns. Yep. And what I found was that I was neglecting the ones that were uh, in the original game then. And it kind of lost a little bit of that uh, more friendly feel kind of thing, right? Yep, yep. So I, when I rebuilt my game here several months ago, I actually went back to kind of basics, right? Uh-huh. And I decided to try and start making mods that would make some of the vanilla weapons a little more interesting instead of, you know, importing new weapons. And a lot, some of those weapons, too, would be very overpowered and would throw balance off and that kind of thing, too, right? Yep. If you weren't careful. <clears throat> game whatever the plan is all right so it looks like lily finally caught up and got in here while we were shopping so 
It was, she was only f uh, 42 arbitrary distance units away from you at the time. Yeah. It's not her. Okay. Here we go. Completed. Meet Lily at her room in the bleachers for payment. I guess we gotta wait for her to come out. Where are you going? She's just leaving. <laughs> you can talk to her now. Hi. Ah, oh, there you are. <laughs> Look, I can't thank you enough for your help with the dogs. People like you are rare in this world. We also got to talking, and uh, we wondered if you wanted to swing by the left field for dinner tonight. Get some free food. Uh, get to the know dinner the scene. A not yep. that fancy. The dinner scene was actually kind of fun. Spaghetti. It's not. But after the whole dog thing, you're eating for free tonight. We're pretty loose here, so show up if you're interested. Don't if not. 6.30 tonight at the diner, okay? Yeah, sounds like fun. All right. So, uh, the dinner scene is um, not necessarily for everyone. It's pretty cool to watch these NPCs all have, uh, con you know, like, detailed, lengthy conversations with one another. Mm-hmm. And the the mod creator does give you the option to bail early on it, but you actually uh, collect ah. XP just for uh, sitting and listening to the conversation and occasionally participating in it. Yeah, it's very oh, interesting. Yeah. I'm going to go in and see if Barb has any work for us here while we're here. <clears throat> and if not, then I suppose. We could uh, head to the nearest settlement, and uh, there's is that barb over there. Ah, Lily's friend. Hello. Let's get down to business. You get right to the point, don't you? Okay, then. Let's try to come to some sort of agreement. Got any work? Did Lily give you the dinner invite yet? No matter. I'm sure she will. Why don't we talk after dinner? I'm still <laughs> waiting on a test result. Yeah, but then you'll be closed. <laughs> <laughs> That's all for now. Thanks. Okay. Well, let me know if you've got any questions. Okay. Well, I guess she doesn't have anything for us to do right now because we have to go to dinner tonight instead. Ah, uh, well. But I'm almost leaning towards saving dinner for another episode. Okie dokes. Uh, just because it is actually a fairly long sequence. Yep, yep. And, uh, would you look at this place? So what I was thinking is I would head back to uh, uh, a nearby settlement and see about dropping off some of our junk and uh, that kind of thing. Alrighty. So we'll do a quick save here. And we also have to level up. And I think I'm going to get local leader. Which oh. means that one day soon we're going to have to make a trip back to Sanctuary and start building the network of settlements. In the meantime, you also got to get yourself some more water. Yes, I do. And uh, that's actually a good idea. It's good that you mentioned that. Because, <laughs> uh, we can go over here and talk to Sheng the water merchant. Sheng, what have I told you about keeping the lake clean? Don't make me shut down this little stand of yours. Every drop of water that comes out of that filter is 100% pure. Why is a legitimate businessman like myself always going to be baffled by city... And speaking of water, I guess I'm thirsty again, too. <laughs> it's a health hazard, Shang. It's a profit hazard, is what I say. I manage the water. And I'll do it without your interference, thank you very much. Purified water. I hear you've been asking questions around town. The what? Diamond City's got two private dicks hey now. Purified water. You won't find this out in the Commonwealth. Anything I can do to help out? Ah, the industrious type. Wanna help me clean out the water supply? You won't believe the junk people throw in there. Overloads the filters. What kind of stuff is down there? You're looking for big things. Anything around the size of a book, usually. I'm on it. Just don't drown. I'll never clean your carcass out of there. <laughs> good behavior, aren't you? Uh-oh. Now Piper wants to try. Didn't talk. realize I had been. So this is you not even trying, huh? I appreciate it. Too few folks can be bothered. 
course, in my well, you got the blood cleaned off of you anyway. Yeah, we don't need the bone saw no more. I mean, look at Diamond City, a place I've been trying to warn of real okay, danger. Okay, well, I'm Whoa, going to pipe? just kind of hurry through this because I would imagine that. Uh, Sounds like it must be. Huh, no kidding. Everybody has heard sure all this be many times before. Mm -hmm. Because I know the truth. Uh huh. I couldn't agree more. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. I couldn't yeah. agree more. Yeah. 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 Piper's speeches tend to be really long, too, right? The mayor sure wanted to talk. Oh, man. You saved those people. You saved those no. people, you Piper. You saved those hey, people. I, I'm sorry. I heard something, it's something nice about people, and I decided to say that you saved them. Yeah. Now, we need to activate the... Quest marker, I think, for uh, yeah, that. So that we'll have a nice little flag that shows us where all the stuff we have to pull out of the water is. Actually, uh, once you do the dinner scene and stuff, it's really funny what some of the NPCs have to say. About, about what's in about, the water? About Sheng and his his uh, water filtration business. <laughs> but we'll save that for later too. Don't want to give away any spoilers right now. Look okay. Look how cool the water is now. Good job. Here's your pay. Now, how about you pick up some bottles for the road? Sheng, why was there a skull in the water? Eh, so maybe you weren't the first person I asked. Maybe the last guy found an unstable hand grenade. <laughs> hey, once the filters do their job, it's all water under the bridge. Am I right? Anyway, uh, need some water? I've yes. got a few minutes. As a matter to of fact, hey, I do. Everyone's got a drink. Am I right? Well, let's see. How many do we need? Uh. Could uh, just take all of it. Yeah. Well, I'm. Yeah, we only got seven left, so I guess we should probably just take all of it. Wow, that's going to cost 435 caps. Okay, well. It is what it is. Can we sell anything to him? We can sell that stuff. Uh, what else can we sell to him? Only you could sell him some frag grenades. I don't have any left. I sold them oh, all Oh, yeah, you did sell them all. I could sell my powerful select shotgun to him. I could sell this thing. Yeah, we'll sell this to him. Uh. And I could also sell my powerful select shotgun. Sorry, Neher, but my uh, new combat shotgun is better than your your uh, revolving pump action shotgun. At least for now. At least for now. Unless I find a legendary one that has a good effect or something. You could sell him a singular fragmentation mine, or... Yeah, but I don't need to do that, because I try to keep a few of those in my inventory too, right? Ah. Uh. Okay. We're all stocked up on water, and, uh... You're all good to go, and you even managed to come out ahead of it. There's Lily walking around in town, right? Yeah, actually, in the, the previous episode there, the part that messed up in the <coughs> dogfighting ring was, uh, uh, Lily is talking with that raider that was trapped behind the bar. And uh, she says to him, you know, as part of the dialogue, he's pleading for uh, sympathy. And she says, you know, I should know how you feel, she says, because I used to be a raider too till I took a shotgun blast to the knee. And then she goes, oh, wait, that wasn't me, that was you. And then she shoots him <laughs> in the leg, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, so we're going to have to pause again for a moment while we leave Diamond City. Alrighty. And we're back. Yeah. It always takes a long time to leave Diamond City. So anyway, we've got uh, a little bit of time to kill until dinner tonight. We have to be there... Uh, I'll aim to be there a little early. I'll head there for 6 p.m. but that will be in the next episode. So I think what we're going to do here off camera is I'm going to do a little bit of developing here at the Red Rocket Boston. All right. And, uh, you know, like we'll do some scrapping and build, oh, you see that? fight off some raiders. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Blue, rain it in a little. 
<laughs> Rain it in a little. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, well, okay. I can take all their stuff. Because metals are uh, kind of handy, too. I'm not going to take their outfits, though, because we can't have any of that. Anyway, now that the coast is clear, I guess we can uh, end this episode. All right. So, so I'm Rec V5. And I'm Sandman99. I hope you all enjoyed watching. Have a good one. Dinner is next. <laughs>